Good morning, guys. Welcome to my Monday morning rants for Monday, the 6th of December. I had a pretty awesome week last week. I caught up with a bunch of people. Uh, started on uh, midweek, Thursday Thursday night. Uh, caught up with a couple of my gaming friends that I have on Discord. And, um, you know, it's always nice to... Not only like put a name, like a face, sorry, a face to the name or username, but um, just to see people in, in real life every now and then, right? Like it's just, uh, for me, it takes, it feels like it takes so much effort, but I'm sure it's the same way for everybody and uh, it's expensive too. Um, you know, an Uber into the city at peak hour could cost like $80, $85 on non-peak hour, it's like still $40, $50 one way. Um, we went in for some good steaks at the Morrison on George Street near Circular Quay. And fucking thank God the steaks were Matrix steaks. They came out. You know, I, don't, I, don't, I know these guys don't spend spend big money on, on food uh, and dining and that kind of stuff. And um, for the steaks to come out, absolutely perfect medium rare black and Ang- black angus steaks oh they both had a bite before i did and they were they were blown away and i'm so happy because yeah it was an awesome steak and just uh <laughs> i don't mean to say this steak made my night but fuck oh man i'm so happy when i have matrix steak when the steak is just so perfect Oh, so that was a good night. Um, I'm pretty sure I got pretty drunk. I don't remember what I was talking about, but there were times where my mates were telling me to uh, lower my voice a little bit, maybe because of this subject matter. Um, yeah, that bipolar beast coming out again, but I was in good spirits. Uh, it was a good night. And uh, I knew I was going to catch up with uh, Viv the very next day too. I've not seen Viv in a while. Hey, she's just been traveling. She's been living the, the nomad life. Um, and so she planned for us to catch up at the Hilton in the city again. And, uh, and she took me to, um, her favorite Japanese restaurant for dinner, uh, which is close by. I think it's underneath the QVB or very close to, um, And that was a really fun night too. It was just awesome to catch up with her. It just felt like it'd been a while. And uh, the Uber driver dropped me off at the wrong place. He basically dropped me off back at Morrison's. So I don't know if that was because I had the address in from the night before. But uh, I walked all the way from Circular Quay up to the Hilton, which is across from the QVB. And it was a long walk, but it was... um, it was one that I wanted to do. You know, I really wanted to see where the city was at. And yeah, it's in a really sad state. Hey, uh, it just felt really dirty, um, grungy. People didn't look happy at all. It was just so miserable. And, you know, I've, I've never, I've never really, uh, I never really loved living in the city apart from when I, you know, used to nightclub a lot. So that was great. Just crawling home from clubs midweek. But I've never had a job in, I guess I'd lie. I do, I have had a job in a CBD when I was um, teaching uh, design at Shillington. But what, one thing that I used to love the most about visiting the city was that I didn't really work in it. And so I would like people watching. I would like to watch people during their lunch breaks and, you know, women in their power dresses and men in their suits running downstairs with a a sandwich in their hands whilst looking at the the watch, being late for a meeting or something and um, just a bunch of busy ants. And just a nice nice spot for me to just sit down and just watch people. Um, I still love doing that. But uh, I thought I would get a bit of that in walking from Circular Quay up to QVB last week, but 
it was just miserable. It was just such a sad, sad state. Uh, it almost felt like watching a video of Kensington in the US where all the freaking junkies are and all the, it's like a zombie town. It almost, it almost had the same vibe. Um, it started to make me think a little bit about why am I even living in Sydney if like the center of it is just, uh, it's just so detached. Um, you know, I felt like that the previous night too, like uh, one of my mates, uh, the gaming mates, he came over here first and we Ubered in together and the, the Uber driver was driving like a maniac, which we were talking about and we loved and we got him to open up. He was pretty snobby initially, but he was this dude wearing a full black Adidas tracksuit and he was from Russia and uh, he was trying to tell us like if we speak English just to go to Russia and find a woman speak English and that that'll be enough for her to want to marry marry you and uh get out of Russia whatever it takes to get out of there and learn English um man he was a, he was a true gangster true gangster has had guns and all that kind of stuff wherever he's lived and uh and we were just talking about it like there was so much traffic on the way in that night so we had lots to talk about and uh everyone in traffic was just in a you know BMW <laughs> or Mercedes or Audi or something and all of them were acting tough everyone was shitty and every everyone hated it but it's like man no one's a, the the guy driving us in the city is a real gangster <laughs> everybody else is just trying to look like one and that's the thing with Sydney you know it's a whole bunch of really innocent people especially when you're talking to a hardcore russian dude he just sees everyone around us like they're just like sheep. It kind of made me feel feel like uh, a similar thing. I just felt like, man, it, people in Sydney act so tough, but really we're just so lucky, right? It's we're so safe. Everything's so safe. Ah, so yeah, that was interesting. Um, just a couple, uh, uh, just a uh, couple of couple of big nights in the city, and then, um. Dinner with Viv was good too. There was two options in this Japanese restaurant, uh, two set menus. One of them had a 500-day grain-fed uh, nine-grade Wagyu steak, and I was so down for another good steak. But she ended up choosing the other set menu, which was Shabu Shabu. I'm like, why'd you choose that? And she's like, oh, because there's uh, scallops on the menu that I really love, and they're on that set menu. And I knew she didn't know what shabu shabu was. And so when shabu shabu came out, it's basically a hot pot, right? And you just got to cook it yourself. And <laughs> the, the dude set it all up and she's like, oh my God, what's this? We don't have to cook this, do we? <laughs> Viv has got to be the worst cook I've ever met in my entire life. Like I'm pretty bad, but she's a shocker. And it was just hilarious that she ordered shabu shabu. It reminds me of um, a recent dinner that I went to with my cousins, the whole family, and uh, I sat on the kiddies table. And one of my cousin's girlfriends, she got to order something, and she ordered something, and it came out, and it was um, it was raw beef. Uh, and she was shocked when she saw it. She had no no idea that that's what it was meant to be. Um. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. I love naivety is a is is a sweet thing. I don't I don't I don't pay people out for it. I think it's <laughs> I think it's sweet. Um so yeah, then the 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 next day uh which was uh, uh Saturday I caught up with Abby Cremalicious. Abby finally made it over and uh we hadn't shot since before Lockdown, so it's been a long time coming, and uh, I love her, I love her energy, uh, she's an amazing girl, and we always come up with amazing photos. So yeah, guys, I am out of here, because I have three photo sets, uh, two with Viv and one with Abby, that I need to do, I need to edit these, I need to have a good day with it today, so that I can have a good week with it, so if I can start out right... And start editing and not complaining about it. Just 
realize that I've got a really good job. A lot of guys seem to tell me that I've got a dream job. Uh, I'm a lucky guy. I need to put my head down and do some good work. And uh, like I said, have a good start to this week and just push through and edit photos like a motherfucker all week for my Patreon. So, um, yeah, speaking of my Patreon, it's not doing too well. Um, it's probably the lowest I've ever made. And I've had a few messages from people saying that they just are going through bad times and they can't afford the uh, $50 per month um, uh, status anymore. Um, that's totally understandable. I have had a few girls message me too asking me for cheaper rates. I just can't do it. Like as much as I need the money, I can't I can't reduce the rate. I've had a few uh, well one guy on Patreon asked me if he could if I could reduce the rate for him. I just I just can't do it. I still need the money to survive. So um or I need to find another way. Um but yeah, uh look, I can start by just getting busy and getting some new content on there and um yeah, I'll take it from there. But um yeah, I hope everyone has a good week. A uh, bit of a messy rant, messy head as usual. I need more coffee. Um, I shall catch you guys in the next one. See yous.